Uh, my name's John Ray, I'm a composer. I've been asked to do a uh, sonic intervention or installation as part of the Diffusion Revolution Festival. The theme of revolution is interesting um, and what appealed to me about it is in the last hundred years, because it's the hundredth anniversary of the Russian Revolution, there's another revolution that happened in sound during that period and before, which was the introduction of noise into music. And if you think about it, the recording, the use of tape, it's why we, I've called the installation Concrete. It's a celebration of one of the earlier forms of sampling, if you like, music Concrete, which was developed by Pierre Schaffer, where the sound, like the camera, takes a moment away from its immediate moment, as it were. It documents and takes it away, so tape, it uh, takes away the sound source from its original source. the themes are so closely tied together and what music concrete meant and the revolution that occurred you know um, in the use of tape in the use of phonographs and Edison cylinder before that it changed the world completely in the way the camera did uh, but also there was another movement the noise movement with the futurists and the constructivists in Russia that are featured in this exhibition so the sound reflects the content of the exhibition in that sense that uh, the use of the synthesizers that we have, um, modular synthesizers, they're old school, but they represent in the way that the constructivists try to create a new society, the, the synths, a modern, modernist aesthetic. The synthesizers are part of that, because the Russians built their own synthesizers as well, trying to create a modern sound. I was inspired by, and I, there's a little snippet of it in the installation, of a, a composer called Edgar Varez, um, who was commissioned by Le Corbusier in 1958 to write a piece called Poème Electronique, which is basically a musical or sonic response to an architectural space. So in that spirit, this installation is the same. I mean, I came to the Sustainable Studio in this amazing old munitions factory space. You know, it has that connotation of industrial sound as well. Um, and I like the idea that there's a sonic journey that you go through as you, as you um, occupy each space and look at the work. I'd like to think that the sonic textures that are revolving around the space are actually enhancing the experience and commenting on, if you like, what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. 